here's the same test set up as before. Wave meter for the X band 8 to 12 gigahertz range. Detector diode using a 1N26 diode and a matched resistor also for the X band. And a partially disassembled motion detector. This is the horn. This is the gun diode assembly. There's the adjustment screw for the uh, gun oscillator. And this is the power supply adjustment for the power supply adjustment voltage. The storage oscilloscope is now set 20 microseconds per division in the horizontal direction and 50 millivolts in vertical deflection. The top trace is the oscillator voltage. It's set to 2 volts for division. 2, 4, 6, a little more than 8 vo volts. I'll now turn on the other trace, which is the detector diode output, which is set to 50 millivolts per division. The absolute values, again, aren't important. You can see that the pulse duration is 1, 2, and a half times 20. or about 50 microseconds. I will now adjust the wave meter which is currently set for 10.2 gigahertz through the 10.2 to 10.3 gigahertz range. Watch the effect on the lower trace which is the detector diode voltage. I'll now go back down and center that dip in the middle of the reflected trace. The gun diode seems to be oscillating in a range that wraps 10.25 gigahertz. The trace seems to have a bit of a width to it, so let's see if we can measure the, the, uh, the width. First begins to dip here. We've got a pretty significant dip right there on the edge of the trace at 10.25. This would be 10.245. This would be 10.245. Looks like 10.2475 gigahertz. The other end is about there, 10.2552 gigahertz. So it seems that the gun circuit in the motion detector is being modulated by a ramp voltage that gives it a bit of a width. The width is fairly stable and these pulses occur, frequent, uh, occur frequently. So I think that it's not just phase noise in the oscillator but is actually um, introduced on purpose uh, by the motion detector. Let's back off on the x-axis of the oscilloscope and see if we can see what the repetition rate of the pulses is. one, two, three, four divisions and we're at one millisecond per division. So every two milliseconds there's a pulse of 20, 40, 50 milliseconds long. 